Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's official prices. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so we got big reveals coming up this week on Saturday, but also we've got the pre orders for a bunch of new stuff, including some Horus Heresy. So let's jump right in and take a look at what kind of deals Games Workshop is offering. And I think you'll find that the Legion of Stardis Battle Group is an excellent deal. And also, we do see that Games Workshop actually has slightly cut prices, something that they do not often do. So let's take a look. All right, so first we have the Legion of Stardis Battle Group. So in this setup, we have 30 of the new Tactical Marines Mark III armor. Now, we'll see in a minute here when we get to them, but the new Tactical Marines are priced at $75 for a 20-pack. So if we do the math on that, it comes out to roughly $113 for a 20-pack and a half, which gives us the 30 Marines in this set. We then have the Derrideo Dreadnought, which is going to be $80. We have the Land Raider Proteus, currently available for $90. And then we have the Special Weapons Upgrade Frame, which is $47. So if we crunch those numbers together real quick, we'll come up with an MSRP. If we were to purchase each of those individual units for $330 total. So this setup is going to be priced at $210. It is a limited run. So once it's gone, it is gone. And that's going to give you a savings of $120 on this set, which is basically the equivalence of buying the upgrade frame, the tank, and the dreadnought, and getting all the tactical marines for free. It is quite the deal. It's going to give you a savings of 36%. So right in line with your typical box sets from Games Workshop, we see oftentimes that they try to stay right around that like 30 to 35% savings. So this is right in line, actually slightly better. And I think this one is going to sell out relatively quickly. It seems like there's a lot of hype behind this. It looks like these are going to be very popular and it is a great deal. So if you are interested in the Legion of Sardis battle group, I would not mess around because I do suspect they're going to be gone very, very quickly. So a very cool set and definitely a nice deal. Let's check out the rest of the pre-orders. All right. So next we have the Legion of Sardis Mark III tactical squad. So some slightly different armor right here. Seems like overall people like the look of it. You are going to get 20 models in this set and this set is actually going to come in at $75 which is pretty awesome because this is actually a slight price reduction. So it's not quite apples to apples but you'll see here we have the Mark IV Tactical Squad and then also the Mark VI Tactical Squad and both of them are also 20 models per set and they are both currently priced at $80 USD. So the Mark III Tactical Squad coming in at $75, we're actually seeing what amounts to a $5 reduction in the price of this set. Now you could argue that because this isn't exactly the same as the other one, that it's just a one-off situation. But to tell you the truth, like what we saw with the Brutalis Dreadnought last week, more often than not, Games Workshop will sneak in a $5 price increase on these box sets and almost never sneaks in a $5 price decrease. So very, very cool. Is that the beginning of a trend? Are we going to see more of this going forward? Well, we can only hope so, but I doubt it. But if you were looking for the Legion of Stardis Mark III Tactical Squad by itself, five bucks cheaper than the other Tactical Squad. So pretty cool. All right. And then we have the Legion of Stardis Sterodeo Dreadnought Ambulus Configuration. So I'm assuming at some point in time in the future, they're going to be releasing different configurations, different weapon setups or accessories included in that set. But as of now, this is the first of the plastic Derrideo Dreadnoughts available. And this one is coming in at $80 USD, 80 bucks for the Derrideo. So right in line with what we see like the plastic Dreadnoughts going for. Obviously, we just talked about the Brutalis that came out last week for $80 for 40 k And unfortunately, Games Workshop has legend all of the Horus Heresy stuff with the exception of the Knights and a couple other things. So this is not going to be usable in 40 k unfortunately. But if we look at that $80 price tag relative to what it used to cost from Forge World, uh, it's basically down like 30 to 50%. So I am a hardcore fan of plastic over resin. And honestly, I love that Games Workshop is bringing all of these different vehicles, all of these different sets into plastic because the kits are substantially better and the price comes down substantially as well. So it really is a double bonus. So very cool setup right here. I would 100% be picking this guy up if he was usable in Warhammer 40k, but since he's 30k only, that's an easy pass for me. All right, and then next we have the Warhammer Commemorative Season, Leagues of Votan, The Ancestor's Wrath. So I understand people are a little bored with this or just underwhelmed. It is definitely a kind of generic pose. We've seen it quite a bit over the last couple of years. I like it. It's different. If you're running two Einher champions in your army, you may want a different pose so they don't look exactly the same. And this is obviously a really cool way to do it. 
So $38 for the Ancestor's Wrath. And I'm definitely going to be picking this up. I'm a big fan of all like the Warhammer Day commemorative series miniatures. Oftentimes they just provide an alternate sculpt for a model that you would already be including two of. So it's really nice to have a second one that you can paint up that doesn't look exactly like the first. So very, very cool. 38 bucks for the Leagues of Okan Ancestor's Wrath Einher Champion. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now back to the video. All right, and then next we have the Stormvolt Skirmish Case. So I can't remember what the final price on the Skirmish Case was. The prices have changed a ton on them over the last couple of years, and I really didn't pay attention to it recently. Those skirmish cases are okay. They serve the purpose for sure for like War Cry, Kill Team, all your like small kind of skirmishy games. And this is actually going to be replacing that. And this one uses the little silicone fingers and a hard plastic covering to uh, keep your stuff from bouncing around. It does specifically say it's built for miniatures with 25 millimeter to 40 millimeter bases and oval bases, 75 millimeters. So anything bigger than that, probably not going to fit in this case. Some people had asked about like 50 millimeters because that's what like the new Space Marine Captain is on. Think about potentially putting like a combat patrol or something inside of these. And you're really going to have to go like full guinea pig on this. It does say specifically 25 to 40 millimeters. So I would assume that that captain is not going to fit, but there is a possibility. But until we hear back, I'm just going to trust the specifications from Games Workshop. And I don't really have like a price comparison on this one because I didn't note what it was at recently, but it is 60 bucks for this. Now, I purchased a couple of the other skirmish cases a while back and they were $30. But since then, I'm sure they've had at least one or two price increases. So it's definitely not doubling from 30 to 60. But I don't know if it was recently priced at like 50 and this is a $10 increase or if they had already kind of crept up to 60 and this is just replacing it at the same price point. But we'll have to see how this is. I'm sure the community is going to get a hold of these and uh, give them a try. And then we'll find out down the line if they are actually good or not. I personally like the old school foam and also like magnetized trays. But I could see this being a decent product. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. And then we have the Fall of Cadia hardback novel. $35 for the Fall of Cadia. And these do usually sell out pretty quickly. The special edition was gone almost instantly, so I do suspect this will be gone very, very quickly as well. If you are after the hardback Fall of Cadia, would not mess around. Definitely grab this up in a hurry. And next we have Angron the Red Angel, $17.99 for Angron. This is the paperback novel. Definitely some nice looking art on this one. And I have not read this one yet, so I may actually be picking this one up. And then we have the Forges of Mars, the Omnibus. And this is a paperback novel, but it's a chunky boy. So this one is coming in at $25. All right. So there we have it. All of this week's official prices. And got to say that this Legion of Stardis battle group is quite the deal. So if you were considering picking this up after taking a look at the breakdown, I think this one is an easy buy for those horse heresy players out there. And this set is definitely going to sell out relatively quickly. I would imagine this is going to be gone before most people get an opportunity to pick it up. So if you're hardcore and you are interested in this, I would not mess around because I think it's going to be the first thing to go. I'm not sure how many Games Workshop has made, but typically with these type of discount sets, especially when there's a bunch of new models included as well, the demand will far exceed the supply. So let me know what you're going to be picking up this week, what you're most excited for. Are you thinking about picking up the Legion of Stardust Battle Group? Are you going to jump into Angron the Red Angel and have a read with me? Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15%. Link in the description. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I can't wait for this weekend's previews. And I'm out of here.